Now, were you in sports growing up? I was, yeah, I did. I played everything, you know, everything from uh, running around on a soccer field to baseball, football early on, especially new sports. Um, and, and later now, as I'm older, is, it's golf. Uh, so um, we're hoping to bring a golf simulator here too in the near future. Nice. Well, how does that feel for you? Because, you know, you were a kid once and now you're providing a safe space for kids, including your own. I love it. I, I hit the cages with my boys. You know, it's fun. It's fun to to see them on their face how excited they are to be here. You know, there's not a, a minute that goes by they don't want to just jump here and start hanging out. And that's, to me, being a dad um, of three boys who can share into the same things I did when I was a kid and not have this, just makes me excited, proud, and uh, um, happy to do this, not just for our kids, but for the community. Now, what has been the reception from, you know, parents, family, and the coaches, you know, since you guys are providing that space? It's been, it's been overwhelming, to say the least, and it's been appreciative. Uh, we started out uh, several months ago with this planning process. Uh, we kind of set the tone and set the hook out in the community to let them know that this is what we're doing uh, to kind of gain that support and momentum. Um, and it's even just through social media, it's been amazing, the support. We've had multiple teams as far as Birch Run, uh, to as far north as Pinconning and Esty, um, to as far west as uh, even Midland and Mount Pleasant. So, you know, we're gaining a lot of insight and the, the great thing about that is, is we're getting multiple um, ideas on what they're looking for in a facility so we're able to accommodate people from all over the place. Now, can you share some of the things that, you know, they are, what they're looking for in terms of, you know, the space? Sure. So ideally, the number one is warmth <laughs> and dryness. <laughs> uh, and we do that. You know, this is heated. Um, it's, it's dry. Um, the, they want a somewhere safe to go. Um, we essentially made sure that everything that we have here is safe, everything from padded poles to AEDs with pediatric pads. You know, I found, especially when I was moving around going to indoor facilities, you have to bring all your own equipment. We supply the baseballs, the softballs. We have some helmets, we have the agility equipment, we have the soccer balls, nets, everything that you need so you can just bring your kids in with their baseball bags and, and uh, softball bags and everything else and just go to work. Why is it important to do that? Because you're essentially eliminating barriers because not every team has the resources as others. Absolutely, so what this does is actually kids that only have a glove, you know, only have a bat, or not even a bat, because we can spy that too, come in and just, we can grasp a greater population of kids um, as well as you know kids that want to do more as far as not just batting but pitching and throwing and kicking and catching can get this place individually as well so you don't have to be just a team you can come in and we can rent the space as an individual um, with your friends if you just need a couple to do some uh, training exercises with pitching catching anything like that um, we'll offer that so it takes the barrier that you don't know where to go or have the opportunity to do that, to just come and bring your glove and go to work. Quickly, tell everyone how they can reach you and how they can find you. Sure, so we actually have a website, so you can go to dnafieldhouse.com. A lot of the information is there as well. You can also follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, uh, DNA Fieldhouse, as well as Instagram.